When you have well defects, you know, such as porosity or anything like that, you're able to really open up the material and, and see the clean, uh, basically a clean cut. With a traditional disc, uh, a grinding disc, or with a, a uh, cutting disc, no such thing is possible. Hello guys, this is Hector Maggie with TFT Pneumatic. Today we're gonna be showcasing you something pretty interesting. We're gonna be talking about milling discs. The milling discs is significantly different than your grinding disc, and it's designed to remove material without um, getting hot, without basically rubbing against the metal. We're basically gonna be cutting it up, similar to what is done with a CNC machine. Um, for that, we're gonna show you a three inch disc, which is a double sided milling disc. You can see that it has a sharp edge in both sides. This disc is designed to, um, to, to work around uh, fillet welds, butt welds, and all of that good stuff. Ideally, open them up, clean them out, be able to see that there's a porosity or, or any defects in there, clean them out, and be able to re weld them. Uh, this particular tool is a 5 inch um, angle grinder by Fuji and this one is paired up with a single sided milling disc um, ideally designed for basically beveling, scrubbing, cleaning up uh, doing any, tor any type of flat welds uh, or making any weld flat um, we will also be showcasing a five inch double sided disc it's uh, significantly different than your traditional disc one of the things we will be doing is we're going to be comparing them with a cutting disc um, let's get right to it basically the benefits of a milling disc is there's no smearing there's no um, need to be changing the disc every 10, 15, 20 minutes. The disc is estimated to, la to last uh, 200, 300, up and up to 500 hours. They can also be resharpened. Uh, we do that in-house. It's all done by TFT Pneumatic. We send them back to the same CNC machine shop that makes them originally. And uh, you basically get an, a brand new disc for another round of hours that can be done up to seven up to seven times um, depending on the size of the disc is going to be the lifespan you know a, a smaller disc is not going to last as much as a, as a bigger one does and that's just basically because of how many times the the disc is turning right and how many teeth each one has um, so We've understood now that we have a single-sided milling disc and a double-sided milling disc. The single sided is designed for uh, beveling and, and flatten out welds or scrubbing. The double sided is designed to do butt welds and fillet welds. Um, it can bevel and do all of that uh, good stuff, but it's really designed for, for butt welds and, and fillet welds. What we're gonna be showing you now is, first of all, the three inch Fuji angle grinder FA30X 3F paired up with the double sided milling disc. Uh, it's a three inch disc and we're going to power it with a 90 psi compressor. The, depending on what you guys are going to be using, whether it's TIG, whether it's MIG, uh, doesn't, really, doesn't really affect much of, of the demonstration part. We're going to be basically simulating that there's a TIG weld right here. We're going to be just basically opening it up and uh, you guys are going to be able to be real close and see exactly what the the profile looks once it's uh, open so come on close check it out With this tool, with this tool, we can also bevel, so it's particularly good for for that. It's 
it's super super fast super smooth it's able to do both things it's able to do both things depending on what you want what we're gonna hook up now is the five inch um, my bad particularly this is a four and a half inch uh, grinding disc paired up with a five inch uh, Fuji tool an FA 45 6f and uh, this the difference between this one and that one is as I mentioned before that this one is a single sided disc it means that it just has the sharp edge on one of the sides and this is designed to either do you know uh, bevels or just remove a uh, flat surface let's say you want to bring down one of those fillet welds or butt welds <laughs> Let's go back in the shop and show you guys some more details on the on the tools. It can be they can be used on traditional pneumatic or electric grinders. For the case of the four and a half and five inch, we have a twelve thousand RPM, which is the ideal uh, speed for them. Whether it's a pneumatic version or a air version or a uh, electric version, my bad and um, for the smaller one it's typically easier to, to run them on, on uh, pneumatic tools why because if you were to run a three inch disc in a tool this side with such a large angle head you're really gonna get very little cutting material um, basically by enhancing the lifetime of the disc we're reducing the cost of, of operation just think of those five minutes that it takes to switch out one disc from another you know you have the 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 operator running the tool say 10 15 20 minutes whatever then boom he's got to take a break he's got to take off the disc put it back on again and that you know may translate into a water break a restroom break or you know a, a general time with no activity on the on the workpiece itself by having a, a traditional tool you, that is that is uh, so efficient you do not need to take as many breaks um, one of the, the of the other important things about the tools is the low vibration and um, they're basically designed as a as a cnc machine you know they're very precise they're very uh, very well made there's no vibration there should be no vibration when using um, such a tool um, the main benefit really is that it's classified as a perfect weld preparation we're not embedding any abrasive into the material we're basically cleaning it off we're not rubbing we're not smearing we're just basically shaving off the clean material when you have weld defects you know such as porosity or anything like that you're able to really open up the material and, and see the clean, uh, basically a clean cut. With a traditional disc, uh, a grinding disc, or with a, a uh, cutting disc, no such thing is possible. Recently, OSHA has made some interesting uh, announcements about some of the more widely used um, discs out there. They're known as cutting discs. They're used not only to cut, but they're also used to bevel, open up fillet welds and butt welds. What's the risk with something like this? And you may want to go back and search in your google um, in, your, in your search bar for accidents related to this type of tools basically what happens is the teeth they'll catch the tool will kick back and in many instances take off 
whether that's with your hand in front of it or let's say inside a hull of a ship that the tool boom 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 hits and and basically there's cases there's one particular case uh, widely widely known where there was a, a tool that came loose it cut somebody eight times you know all over the place before actually cutting the cord that powered the tool um, so kickbacks is a very big deal uh, a cutting disc should not be used on a on an angle grinder you know there's there's really no room for use of what is known as a circular saw cutting disc on a angle grinder bottom line um, these discs have to have a guard that is self-retractable and uh, that basically does not allow for a cut to be to be to happen in somebody's hand um, this disc you know the milling disc that we offer at TFT pneumatic basically is a disc that will not uh, have a kickback it does not produce any type of kickbacks you're able to cord to cut um, bevel to 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 work the piece in many different ways without being able to get that disc stuck and make it kick so something pretty impressive something very unique and um, definitely a very good tool for somebody that is making large aluminum pieces and that wants to you know either uh, do a surface preparation a surface of welding on them and um, to clean off this, the the weld open them up and um, act as a perfect weld preparation the time that it takes to do a single job out there you know let's say that you do your work the piece was not clean the, but the base material was not clean you're doing that well it takes you know many times hours to do to do a large path and um, just to come back and, and notice that since you did not use the proper equipment to open it up that root weld uh, that fillet weld you know it's all filled with with um, with uh, porous or it's just has welding discontinuity or anything like that regardless if you're using a TIG welder a MIG it doesn't really matter you know the most important thing about a weld is to have the right material uh, uh, and have the right tool to prep that material surface preparation you know when it comes to the weld you know the weld preparation is second to none it's going to make you able to do that job right the first time um, provided your welder is your welding machine is set to the prop to the proper um, numbers anyway for tft pneumatic this is hector maggie thank you for watching